this gritstone ridge called the Roaches, with its magnificent soaring rock faces, ever covered hillsides and sheltered woodland paths leading to the stunning Lutz Church, draws tens of thousands of visitors annually, making it one of the area's most photographed landscapes. And it's also a good idea to keep out for the resident peregrine falcons, which are fairly rare. These large falcons are one of the fastest birds on the planet, which can reach speeds up to 124 miles per hour. And they nest on the craggy rocks and ledges on the estate. And the roaches are at yet another place, which is said to inspire J.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings. Now this is a Don Williams Memorial Hut. Very unique building and brilliantly located amongst the buttresses and boulders of the historic climbing area. And it's looked after by volunteers. And it can accommodate up to 12 people with full cooking, dining facilities and a shower. And the conversion work was carried out during 1992. Now there's also this unusual stone carving on a ridge and it was hidden under a blanket of heather but a storm recently revealed it when it cleared the growth away and the carving was rediscovered in 2004. Now it's very close to the edge of the cliff and consists of an area about three metres which has been levelled and the 36 inch diameter circle has been carved in the middle of the levelled area and in the centre is like a cup shape some archaeologists propose that it's possibly an unfinished millstone but to release the stone the mason would have to cut it out underneath doesn't make sense it seems pretty an accessible place to fashion a millstone i think a more plausible explanation could be it's where a victorian telescope was once mounted and then you have the winking man this weird rock formation can be seen from the a53 Leek Buxton Road and it's part of the Ramshaw Rocks. It looks like a face sticking out of the hillside and as you travel past in a car the eye appears to wink as a pinnacle of rock passes behind the face. The Baldstone could possibly be a dolmen in its near hen cloud and is said to be balanced upon a short edge of rock and supported by two uprights about 18 inches in height. Some people think it's natural, but it may well have been used as a burial place during the Neolithic times. There are several pieces of evidence which suggest it may have been. It could have been very significant during prehistoric times. There appear to be some cut marks, which is the most convincing thing, and one with a possible ring round it. Now back in time, probably a few hundred years, the stone was a site of what must have been a stunning procession on the morning of Beltane, which marked the beginning of summer. And it's said that dozens and dozens of people would follow a well-worn route from Leek and surrounding villages, travelling many miles on foot to the rock. And here they would crawl beneath the board stone to knock the devil off their backs. But at some point, the high regard held for the stone was destroyed by Christians. So the, the stone was whitewashed to purify it, typically. Is there a stone circle at the Roaches close to the so-called dolmen? Now, there is a rough circle of nine stones, about 20 feet in diameter, thought to be the same stone circle, but it could be larger than normal ring cairn but it was mentioned by antiqu antiquarian J.D. Sainter who described the stone circle and said it was close by the board stone so it's not really clear that one now on the slopes of the roaches on access land is what's thought to be an artifact of the quarry which was a major industry in the valley. A small building thought to be a workman's hut, but the slabs of stone involved are huge. It makes you wonder how they 
lifted the and, and moved them without the assistance of machines. Almost megalithic, eh? Curiously, there is uh, two or three stories or legends of entrances to the inner earth, which means there could be an ancient city beneath the earth under the roaches. It's said to be a secluded area up there in which a labourer discovered a large iron plate beneath some dirt and it was large and oval with an iron ring mounted on it. Now this entrance is said to have led into tunnels and this secluded area is in a valley surrounded on almost all sides by woodlands. I mean, this is pure romance for sure, but it's interesting how so many legends are connected with this area. There's also the mermaid, which I'll be doing soon. And lastly, we have the hanging rock, which is quite interesting. Just not, not just because it's weird, but because it has two inscriptions. One for a much loved dog and the other for Lieutenant Colonel Courtney Brocklehurst, apparently the man who was responsible for the wallabies on the roaches. <laughs>